renovating a house. It costs money, it takes time, and time is money. So in this video, I'm gonna break down exactly to the penny how much I spent on this renovation project. And listen up, because I'm going to reveal three money-making tips that can help you in your refurb to make money and to save money. I've been really hesitant to actually make this video because the obviously the cost of a refurb changes from area to area, person to person. So what I thought I'd do is break down a refurb that I have actually documented already and posted on YouTube so you can see how much it cost me and what I got for my money. So we just don't know the property that we're filming for, but let's jump into a full breakdown of what this refurb costs. Let's start with the externals. We got one company to do the whole thing and charge us one price of £3,735. Now what they did for this price was they uh, re-leveled and resurfaced the whole driveway. They leveled out and put new turf on the back and the front garden. They ripped out a whole bunch of trees, painted the fences, put new fences and fence posts in along the driveway, as well as cleaned the roof. That leads me on to tip number one. Whilst we stood just outside our latest refurb, that's a joke, we don't own that building. But tip number one is make sure that you have curb appeal. Make sure that from the front of the house, from the street, that your property looks like the best property on the street. The £3,735 that we spent on the externals, we weren't actually gonna spend that at all. But we realised that when we looked from the street to the house, that it didn't look like the best one on the street. So we spent the money, made it look absolutely gorgeous, made it look incredible, and by spending that three and a half thousand pounds, we we're able to add 10 to 15,000 pounds worth of value. If you're thinking about selling a house or know anybody that is, then you need to make sure you get in touch with me. I run the best online estate agency that covers the whole of England and Wales. HomeSpot provides UK homeowners with the opportunity of a quick sale at a quality price. Whether this is your very first home that you're looking to sell, a flip project that you're looking to sell, or whether it is a rental portfolio that you're looking to offload, Whatever it is, we want to be able to help you. So click the link in the description, book in for a call with me and my team, and we would love to be able to help you sell your property. Now for the internals of the property, we got one price from one main contractor, but he broke it down into different sections, and that's what I'm gonna do for you right now. So we had the full rip out, the full clear out. That's getting rid of the kitchen, the bathroom, the, uh, the old carpets, ripping off all the Artex, everything like that. That was 500 pounds including the skip. We also uh, paid two and a half thousand pounds to fix up a few damp issues uh, and also plaster every single room. That's the walls and the ceiling in every single room. That was two and a half thousand pounds. We also had windows that we actually end up spraying because a few of them were white and a few of them were brown and we want them to all be white. Now to save costs on this, a little tip for you there, I'll throw it in for free, rather than replacing the whole window is actually that you spray the windows white. You can spray the frames and that cost us 800 pounds. We fixed up a few of the floorboards, which is 100 quid. And then finally, we did a full rewire, electrical rewire, testing certificate for 3,000 pounds. This is the home spot bar. Does anyone want a drink? Subscribe to the channel. No, never mind. Lovely. Brilliant. Well, thanks for showing me around. No Unless there's anything else to have a look at. Yeah. <laughs> that guy's nice, isn't he? So we've just finished in that property there. It's a half a million pound house. We're going to do a house tour of that and show it on YouTube. So a video will be coming out either before or after this one. Just keep your eyes out. But tip number two that I want to jump onto is should you manage your trades individually or should you get a mains contractor? Now, the tip, I can tell you what I would do, but I can't tell you what you should do. What I can tell you is the pros and cons for each though. So if you were gonna manage your own tradespeople, then that means that you will save money, you'll save about 10% of the overall refurb cost. So if you're gonna spend 20,000 pounds, you'll save yourself roughly about 2,000 pound buffer. So that's 2,000 pounds that you might save. The problem with it is that you have to spend your time and effort and stress managing those individual people. Whereas, if you pay the extra 2,000 pounds, you might actually be able to get a project manager who can deal with everything 
handle all the different trades and whilst you're paying more you get your time back and if you think it's, your time is worth more than that two thousand pounds then it's worth doing we replaced the old heating system and added a new combi boiler in the attic of the property it was in the kitchen we moved it up into the attic um, and that cost three and a half thousand pounds to do all of that we also uh, did the kitchen we fully replaced the kitchen it was going to cost three thousand but i wanted to add a little bit more to it just to make it a little bit nicer and really add the value and get the value to where we needed it to be to sell at the price we wanted and so it, it cost us three and a half thousand pounds an extra 500 pounds than we initially planned uh, we also replaced the whole bathroom uh, and all the tiles we tiled the whole of that and that cost two and a half thousand pounds we also painted the whole of the property so that is both uh, skirting architrave all the internal doors we painted gray and then we did all of the, the internal walls we painted all of them white and then as well as that we replaced one of the internal doors which cost us 100 quid tip number three is make the right choice with the kitchen the kitchen sells the house and at the very beginning i wanted to go cheap on the kitchen uh, but then i realized i looked around at all the different properties selling for the kind of price i wanted to sell this one at and the one thing they had in common they all had nice kitchens so i decided to spend the extra cost and actually it wasn't a cost it was an investment because it added more value to the house so don't skimp out on your kitchens now the last few things that we did was carpet and vinyl we replaced the whole flooring throughout the whole property with new carpet and new vinyl this cost two thousand pounds to supply and to fit we also painted the front of the house white we just did a nice simple white to brighten the the front of the house up this was 200 pounds we did the driveway they had a, a handrail at the front of the property we removed that and that cost 200 pounds and then the last thing that we did was replace the upvc front door and that cost 600 pounds that brings our grand total to 24,735 pounds but this is what you need to realize you need to understand what that £24,735 actually gets you. So you need to click here and watch the video to find out for yourself.